What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Here we are for the Red Sea Max 250 per usual. Still having a bit of an algae problem, unfortunately, but I think we're gonna solve it. I think we are going to solve it. Before we go any farther, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. We're posting new fish videos every single Friday. Also, make sure to check the link in the description. Assaulted merch, you know, you wanna get yours. Hey, enough of that, let's get into the Red Sea. I've been having algae problems. If you guys have been around, you know what's going on. I'm getting green cyano on my sand bed, just in the corners, and I'm also getting what I believe to be diatoms on my glass super quick, like within a week. I do water changes every other week, uh, about 10, no, it is not about, 10 gallons a week, and it's a 65 gallon tank, so. I don't know, you do the math. Okay, here's how the tank is looking, not too bad. I actually did a water change yesterday. I had left my water sitting on the floor for the day, not like literally on the floor, in a bucket on the floor. I came back to do the water change and I was pouring it in and it was actually kind of cloudy, almost like the alk was getting poured in. I don't know, I probably should have stopped while I was ahead and not completed the water change, but um, you know, the way that the way that I'm just set up is that I just kept going and then after I was like, hmm, maybe I should, probably should have stopped and not put the cloudy water in. But whatever, I cleaned my filter right after I did the change and then I let it like suck up some more of the cloudiness and then I cleaned the, or I didn't change it, I cleaned the filter. And then I cleaned it again and everything looks good in the hood now. Everybody's still swimming around happy. All the corals are up and alive. So hopefully nothing was too bad, I don't know. I did try to suck up some of the uh, green algae on my rocks yesterday as I was doing the water change and I freaking got this Duncan by accident. I almost sucked him through the tube so far that he almost came out, ripped into pieces, but he seems okay, surprisingly. Yay for that. You could see it on my walls. I didn't clean my glass yesterday because I wanted to show you guys a little bit, but you could see it all right there. We do have good growth though. Everybody's still growing happy and everybody looks good. I did move this uh, plate coral over here, I forgot what it's called, and I switched it with my A-can back there because it's just, I don't know, I feel like this is a nicer piece to put in the front for now. Here you can kind of see the chunks as well that I picked up and moved around and the algae on the wall. But everybody's swimming, everybody's happy. We just gotta get that algae under control, boys and girls. This uh, rose bubble tip, I, you know, as you guys remember, he used to be, he used to be like down in here and I think because of the Monty, he's starting to move himself more into the light. So I love that you guys always try to help me out on here. Um, you guys have, I'm sure, a lot more reefing experience than I do, clearly, because I just, like, do whatever. So a lot of you with the algae outbreak said it was either the nitrates or the phosphates, and you were spot on. So last week we tested my nitrates, nitrates or nitrates? nitrates i think nitrates and phosphates and my nitrates were zero or like very close to zero while my phosphates were like really high i think it was like 83 which transferred into like point point two five or something like that but it was high okay so had to we gotta work on getting those phosphates down a lot of you guys recommended chemiclean which i did get i have it here and i was going to use it however some other sources were kind of like, it's kind of just a band-aid. I also read a lot of reviews on it. Most of them are positive, but some of them are not. And then, like when it's not positive, it's like, I woke up and all my fish were dead, my corals were dead, they skeletoned out, like all that stuff. So before putting that in, I went to some of your other recommendations, which were Fosgard or Fosban. Figured it's time to order some of that and see Although it might not be a, as quick as a solution as ChemiClean, it might be a, a better long-term solution. The quickest delivery is Amazon. So checking out Fosban, this is the, the Amazon choice here. 102 ratings. Careful with this product. My tank immediately started crashing. The corals and the fish were sick. Oh goodness. Maybe helped about 30%. Okay, let's check out. We got Fosgard over here. One serving is probably gonna be seven. So clearly this one off the bat is much more used. Treat 60 gallons, that's about my tank size, which is good, 100 mil bag. 6.99, I, I could splurge on that. Just pulled this out the other day for a filter change, have some algae growing in my smaller tank. It did the trick, 24 hours, the algae was already reduced, what? I use this in the 200 gallon reef once a month and rarely do I ever record the slightest trace of phosphate. Okay, this is, 
This is looking good, guys. 48 hours, your tank will be clear. Helps get rid of brown algae problems. Fosgard is looking like the winner right now. All these people are saying, quick results. It's the 100 milliliter bag, which treats 60 gallons. I think I'm gonna give this one a go. Hopefully it brings my phosphates down and problems will be solved. Rapidly removes phosphate and silicate. Optimum hydronic, what? Optimum hydrodynamics. Marine and freshwater. Let's order it. No way. What the mailman bring, Yokes? Is this our Foss guard? Let's open it. Woo! This is the stuff. This is supposed to come already in a bag. Oh, it's not this bag. <laughs> you just put this whole thing in the thing. Had a, it had an easy open. <laughs> Good. Oh shit. There's little sand particles coming out. We got it. I have not used this before, but it says to rinse it out first, so that's what we're gonna do. So I want to make sure that all of this water drips out because obviously I don't want that in my tank. That should be good. I am going to put this in the back of, of my fish tank. I currently have back there uh, Purigen and Kimmy Pure Elite and then the filter. So I'm going to, they're kind of all stacked on top of each other. I'm going to keep those how they are and then just put this bag on top of them because I want it to make sure that it gets the most flow according to the instructions. The instructions don't say anything about having to remove the Purigen or Kemi Pure Elite. So hopefully I don't have to do that. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna go for it. So right in that hole there is where it's gonna go, right where the flow is going over. Little bag like so. I don't know. I don't know guys. Hopefully that will be okay. I'm not sure if my fish just like ate one of them or what happened, but there's stuff floating around right now. My water just got a little cloudier. I'm guessing it's because of that. Not really sure. It also did say that it might generate some heat. It said in four days that the levels should be better. But what I'm looking at is if my algae stays under control here on the walls. I'm gonna feed my fish and then uh, hopefully Hopefully they don't spaz out too much. So there you have it guys. We have successfully added the Foss Guard to the tank. I really, really hope that this helps get the phosphates under control and just in general takes all of my algae down because it's a bit of a buzzkill when you have like your tank nice and growing, everything shining, and then you gotta constantly be cleaning your tank and have like, be checking your nutrients all the time because something is not right. I try to leave my tank alone as much as possible and just let it kind of be natural, but you also have to take care of it and, you know, make sure it looks nice and, and you want everybody in the tank, fish and corals and stuff to be happy. Yeah, let's see how this works. We'll give it, I don't know, we'll just leave it back there. Hopefully it has good flow where I put it. I'll keep you guys updated as always. If you have any recommendations, feel free to drop them down below. Hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We have new fish videos every single Friday and uh, make sure to check the link in the description for your assaulted merch. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.